Hi friends, welcome to academentor.com. Today we'll learn about how to convert decimal numbers to the form of p by q. In the previous video, we saw that the terminating decimals and the non-terminating but repeating decimals are basically nothing but rational numbers. The terminating ones and non-terminating uh, but repeating these are nothing but rational numbers and we also saw that rational numbers are the numbers which can be expressed in the form of p by q where p and q both belong to integers and q is not equal to 0. Correct. So that means every terminating or non-terminating but repeating decimal number can be written in the form of p by q. For example, let us take 0 0.4. Now this is a form of terminating, this is an example of terminating decimal number. Now, can you represent this in the form of p by q? Yes, we can. How do we do that? Now, this one is fairly simple. You can write 0 0.4 as 4 by 10. Just simply multiply 10 in the numerator and divide it by 10. And you get 4 by 10. Or 2 by 5. I'll give you another example. Let's suppose 23.16. This is also an example of terminating decimal number. Now how do you represent this in the form of p by q? Now what you basically do is just remove the decimal by one place and by two places and divide the whole number by 100 by the number of uh, by 1 followed by number of zeros equal to the places you have moved the decimal so this becomes 2316 upon 100 and then you can divide this and this comes out to 579.25 in its smallest form say if it were uh, 3.1624 then you have to move the decimal to the right by 4 times Correct. Hence, you will divide it by 1 followed by 4 zeros. That is 10,000. So this gives you this gives you 31624 upon 10,000. Now, terminating de terminating decimals are fairly simple to represent in the form of p by q. How do you represent the non-terminating ones but the repeating ones? Uh, for example, let us take 0 0.6666 and it goes on forever. This can also be represented as 0 0.6 bar. The bar on 6 means that 6 goes on repeating. Now we are supposed to represent this in the form of p by q. Let us assume x is equal to 0 0.6 bar or 0 0.6666 now 10x would be equal to 6.6666 and so on or 6.6 .6 bar now this is the first equation 
this one is the second equation subtracting equation 1 from equation 2 gives us 10x minus x equal to 6.6 .6 bar minus 0 0.6 bar this implies 9x is equal to 6 the part after the decimal which is the repeating part gets cancelled and we are left with just 6 this equation gives us x is equal to 6 by 9 or 2 by 3 hence we can say that 2 by 3 is the p by q representation of 0 0.6666 or 0 0.6 bar now you must be wondering why did we take 10 here and not any other number we could have taken any other number but multiplying with 10 actually gives us 6 point 6 bar and it's easy to eliminate this part the repeating part and then we can continue with the normal process I'll give you another example to make it more clear uh, let's assume we have to uh, represent P by Q we have to represent 0 0.3242424 24 and so on in the form of P by Q now this decimal number is a repeating decimal number you can see that 24 is repeated again and again hence this can be represented as 0 0.324 and the bar on 24 again let's assume x equal to 0 0.324 bar now here we see that 10x would be equal to 3.24 bar while 1000x would be equal to 3.324.24 bar now you see that what we try we are, we are trying to do here is we are trying to multiply 10 so that we have the repeating part after the decimal and here the same repeating part after the decimal so that it's easy to eliminate so we chose 10 and 1000 as the multipliers from these equations we can say that 1000x minus 10x is equal to 324.24 bar minus 3.24 bar now the left hand side becomes 990x while the right hand right hand side is 321 you can see that the repeating part is eliminated this leaves us with x is equal to 321 upon 990 now you can reduce this to the form uh, by dividing it by 3 and you'll get 107 upon 330 so this means that the p by q representation of 0 0.324 bar is nothing but 107 by 330 now you can practice other questions as well you can practice for 5.37 bar 
for 6.67 bar the bar is on 67 and 0.2 bar i'll give you these answers to check this the first one would be equal to 242 by 45 6.67 bar would be 73 by 11 and 0.2 bar would be 2 by 9 